got to be a natural phenomenon. Excuse me? Robin, note the coffee machine. Note that you and I are the only women in this entire room. And if you observe the position of the men, they're clearly expecting us to take care of it. That's, that's not fair. I would do this. I just don't know how. Oh. You plug it in. Excuse me. Thank you. No hey. problem. Maybe there's hope. <laughs> Thank there you. you. So, aside from the rant of sexism, do you think you're going to like working in an office? Well, it's got to be from the outback right now. Oh, is um, your uncle still giving you a hard time about Stone? But I know it's because he's afraid for me and angry about Stone's putting me at risk. But Stone's one who has AIDS, and he's the one who really needs support. Do you know Uncle Mac actually yelled at him? I think it's probably hard for a lot of people to deal with their reactions. Maybe it'll get easier. Well, at least it's not a secret anymore. That much is easier. I'm so sorry, Robin. I, I just hope you know that we are completely behind you and Stone. Thank you. <laughs> hey, maybe I should go to the printers and pick up the rest of the press kits. Sure. That would be great. Okay. Thanks, Robin. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> well, well, well. The Charles Street Development Foundation comes of age. Everybody all set for the big media event? You're not nervous, are you? <laughs> Maybe just a tad. Make that two tads. Well, why? I'm sure you're fully prepared. I think we're just about as ready as we're going to be. You can never tell with the media, AJ. You don't know how they're going to play anything. Now, listen. I have been attacked and vilified from time to time by most of the press in this town, and I, I'm still kicking. Besides a venture like this, it's pure philanthropy. Who's going to find fault with it? As you all know, Charles Street Development Foundation was established to encourage growth and development of new business in our community. And I got to tell you that we are thrilled, delighted this morning to be able to fill you in on our progress to date and to inform you of a giant step that the foundation will be able to take. But, but before we do any of that, now their bios are in your press kits, but I'd like to take a moment to personally introduce some of the other members of our board of directors. Mr. Orville Leeds from Empire State Lumber and Leeds Hardware. The Reverend Samuel Phillips from Mount Hebron Church. Community activist and my grandmother, Mary Mae Ward. Dr. Simone Hardy, who has donated so many hours of her professional time to the Ward House and other neighborhood organizations. Hi. Jason Quartermain, who provides liaison to the Port Charles University. Hi. Mr. A.J. Quartermain, who you will hear from shortly. Hi. And, uh, and uh, the man whose idea all this was, and more importantly, who put his company's money where his mouth is, Mr. Edward Quartermain. Edward? Thank you, Justice. Now, as gracious as it is for Councilman Ward to give me this much credit, the fact is that the Charles Street Development Foundation became a reality and is already making an impact in this community because of the hard work and the devotion of the entire board, and most particularly the involvement of Councilman Ward and of the Foundation's full-time director. No, make that double-time director, Mr. Alan J. Quartermain, Jr. A.J., I'm going to let you uh, speak for yourself and deliver the good news. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, obviously, I have my own set of thank yous to say to all of you who are gathered here today, but. There is one particular person who I'd like you to meet who hasn't been acknowledged. And that's my personal assistant, Ms. Keisha Ward, who has worked long and long and longer hours applying everything from her computer expertise to her envelope stuffing prowess to the cause. <laughs> Keisha, please. Without Keisha's invaluable aid, I would not be able to make the following announcement. 
I wish we had some fanfare here or something. The Charles Street Development Foundation is proud to announce that we have just received a matching grant from the Economic Development Agency of the federal government. Yeah! Yeah! That's how we feel also. Absolutely. Especially in this time when there's such severe budget cuts and grants like these are few and far between. We're really happy. Actually, we're, we're more than happy that there's enough confidence in this operation in this community that the Economic Development Agency has seen fit to double what we are able to do by way of economic stimulation. Right. Wait a second. We're not, we're not wasting any time here either, ladies and gentlemen. I want to introduce to you the very first recipient of a low-interest loan made possible by this grant, Mr. Muhammad Jackson. Yeah. Muhammad, come on up here, please. Say a few words. I'm better at plumbing than I am at speaking. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to be doing from my own outfit in the neighborhood where I grew up, Charles Street. I need to say thank you to Councilman Ward and the Quartermain for making a lifelong dream come true. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. Thank you very much. But let me say that we're not making your dream come true. You're making it come true yourself with your own vision and hard work. Congratulations. Uh, I think at this point in time, I'd like to open up the floor to questions if there are any. Great. Uh, yeah, right there. Well, son, it's really starting to happen. Yes. Your father would be proud of you. I know he would, because I surely am. Well, thank you. But you both know this was a team operation. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Well, AJ, first class all the way. All right. well, thank you very much. All right. Hey, uh, Jason, listen, you don't think I embarrassed Keisha to you when I was talking to you? Oh, right? no, no, I doubt it. But if you did, I'll, I'll, I'll come for you. All right. all right, Ned, lay into me. How'd I screw it up? AJ, are you fishing for criticism? Oh, I hate to disappoint you. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> <laughs> Tom, good of you to come out and lend your support. Not at all. Seems like a worthwhile endeavor, and lucky for you, snaring Simone to serve on your board. Well, I thought you knew. Simone was involved in the community long before she met me. She volunteered at the ward house as pediatrician on call for years. Hey, I was there, too. You know, I have to tell you, I really admire you for putting this all together, making it happen. Well, I didn't do it alone. No, but you made the most of connections, especially the Quartermain connection. Meaning? No offense, but if I was in your shoes, you could bet I'd be playing the grandson card, too, especially to get something like this up and running. I'm not sure I follow you, and frankly, I don't think I want to. All I'm saying is it was very astute of you to utilize your position in the catbird seat. There's Edward, with his vast resources, more than willing to underwrite a foundation or anything else you want, including a political career. So long as you let the old Bradley War scandal die a natural death. You've got a few things backward, Doctor, but perhaps that's to be expected. The fact is that Edward came to me with the idea of the Charles Street Development Foundation. Well, sure he did, Justice, and I bet he was absolutely convinced that he dreamed it up all by himself. Justice, I would love to show Tom the projected plans for the neighborhood clinic we have in mind. Really? A clinic? Well, you two sure know how to stretch a philanthropic nickel. Does that come from maneuvering the city budget, or is there right, some other way? You Justice, got could you explain something to me for a second? Um, something about the press room. Tom Hardy, I can't tell you how delighted I was to see you walk in. You know, we haven't even had a chance to speak since you got back. Thank you, Edward. It's good to see you, too. But you know, if you hang around here too much, you're liable to be pressed into this uh, volunteer service. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out. Watch where I'm walking. However, I do get the suspicion that my particular skills aren't really welcome. Well, what have you been doing since you got back? Hey, you know that your father bullied his way through. By the way, thanks for the save, Edward. Help yourselves. Oh, uh, it's no, our duty to do. finish stuff. Uh, we... 
A purchase with public funds? Here you go. Uh, excuse me, no, these were not. These yeah, were purchased you. with the, the quarter main side of the budget. By the way, Jason, the coffee, please work on that. You can just fix it yourself. <laughs> I'm kidding. Come on, I'm kidding. It I'm was... kidding. Come on, I thought everything went really well. Thank you all for all of your help. Really. Well, I think congratulations are definitely in order. You did an extraordinary job, AJ. Thank you, Grandfather. Lou. Far be it from me not to acknowledge a job well done. Justice coming from you, that really means a lot. Thank you. There you go. Now, you see, this is the way it should be all the time. Here, here. Bravo. <laughs> all right. All right.